Hi. Hi. How are you? I'm well, thanks. How are you? I'm fine. Congratulations on the new season of American Dad. Thank you. It's always an exciting phrase to hear. <laughs> Show keeps on rolling. <laughs> and I think you're expecting yes, a visitor. I'm expecting a visitor. <laughs> Three more months. <laughs> yep. <laughs> So tell me, what's it been like being on the show? It's been on for what, like seven years now? A decade. Yeah, it's been on for a long time. Yep, isn't that crazy? I know, I realize I'm a huge New England Patriots fan, and I realized that we premiered American Dad the day that the Patriots won their last Super Bowl. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then, yeah, I mean, like, so it's been a decade because it was a decade between Super Bowl ones. Yeah. Oh, that's so funny. Yeah. What a great way to remember things. Well, yeah, you know. <laughs> So working on the show, what's it been like? I mean, do you guys all uh, record together or do you record separately? No, we record separately. Um, we do everything wild, that's what they call it. So we, we get together every week and we do a table read. So we actually get to hear how the dialogue sounds together and we get a sense of the script. And then we record individually, um, just sort of doing each line three times and, uh, and then they edit it all together and it sounds like we were all in the room together. That is so cool. Yes, I know, it really amazes me sometimes how well they they string it together. So will you guys have any special episodes? Sorry. Will you guys have any <laughs> special episodes, like maybe a Star Wars theme episode or something? I know he does that with his other show, but yeah. he doesn't really do that as much. No. And you know, I think that the interesting thing and maybe why that is, and I don't know if a lot of people know this, is that Seth isn't really that involved with American oh, really? Dad. No, he hasn't been in quite some time. You know, it's our, our showrunners, Matt Weitzman and Brian Boyle, and, and those are the voices. You know, those are the, the, that's the sort of artistic voice that you hear. So, it, you know, though Seth was obviously there in the beginning of American Dad, and though he still does a lot of the voices, that's pretty much where his uh, creative input stops with American Dad. Yeah, so that's why the shows are so different, you know, because they actually are run by different entities so um one of the i mean we have our 200th episode coming up which is really exciting and that's that's a really really funny fun ride um and we have a lot of we have an interesting one where we sort of break the fourth wall and uh this um chinese businessman buys the show american dad and so he's like in front of the camera talking about what he's going to do with the show and that's it's it's cute and interesting and funny What's it like working with Patrick Stewart? I'm a major Star Trek fan, yeah. so I love him. Yeah. Do you guys slip that in all the time? Oh my God, I love Patrick Stewart. It's he's having him on the show has definitely raised the bar. I mean, he's fantastic as Bullock, and he loves doing it too. We uh, had the privilege of having him at New York Comic Con this past year on our panel, and. Yeah, I mean, he just talks about what a delight it is for him. And obviously, it's such a departure from what he does every day. And uh, he just, yeah, he adds such a such a, a different dimension to the show. Now, as an actor, do you ever get a chance to sort of say, you know, we should do a story about this? Or do you, like, sort of tweak a line a little bit to personalize it? From time to time. I mean, definitely they take our input in terms of if, if we have an idea of where we think the character should go. But at the same time, we have the most amazing writers and it's kind of rare that we even need to, you know? it's These guys are, are so incredibly good at what they do and the material that we get is so funny that, I mean, every once in a while I'll say, I think Haley might say this as opposed to that, but it's rare. Yeah. So with Haley, um, if I remember correctly, her boyfriend is coming. He came back from the alternative space yes. universe thing. Now, is there going to be a little bit more of her thinking, you know, maybe I want to go back to my ex-husband. Maybe I want to keep being free. Because, you know, Haley's gotten around a little bit. She has gotten around a little bit. And, yeah, I mean, I think when Jeff comes back, she's pretty stoked to have her husband back. So... Jeff pretty much rejoins the family and oh, yes. yeah absolutely and we get Jeff back which is fantastic <laughs> I mean everybody loves Jeff Fisher and it's such a great character <laughs> and the two of them together are so great too that it's uh, it's been awesome having that it was strange you know that little interlude where Jeff was gone and Haley was dating all these different people um, but no it's really exciting that he's back so can I ask a clue for the upcoming season that I'm sort of wondering sure I don't know if you'll be able to tell me. Is Haley going to be doing any protests again? Because remember back when the show first started, she was always protesting something. Just a total smart ass to her dad. And she's maturing and 
you know, is she going to go back to her old Yeah, family? we actually going to just had an episode. Of course, people won't see this for over a year because we literally just recorded it like two, two weeks ago where there was definitely some protesting. It's not quite to the extent that she used to. I think she is maybe getting a little lazy, but... We're all getting older. <laughs> yeah, exactly. She's been 18 for 10 years. <laughs> oh, I wish we could be 18 again. Thank you so much for talking with Absolutely, me. Absolutely, thank you. And I was wondering if you could say Geek Out with Cherry and Haley voice. Geek Out? Yes. Okay, yes, I can, sure. <laughs> Geek Out with Cherry, everybody. Thank you. Sure thing, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you.